Hey everyone, this is Scott from uh, CertMedia.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Post Types Order Plugin. Um, sometimes I get asked, just by a client, how to easily reorder their post. Um, if you're on a website where you're not showing date information, the easiest way is just to use this plugin. Um, obviously, all content by default is ordered by the date from which it was published, and you can modify this with PHP. But the easiest way is just to use this plugin. How it works is really simple. And I wouldn't go installing this unless you have a very specific use case for it. But here's how it works. You go ahead and you install it. You go to your settings page. And it'll let you configure it. You can choose to mod uh, show what post to enable it for. I would only enable it on the post type that you're actually going to be using it for. In this case, I'll be doing it for the posts. And then you could choose to the minimum level use of this plugin, set it to administrator. You typically don't want somebody who's non-admin to be modifying this. Auto sort, if checked, the plugin will automatically update the WordPress queries to use the new order. No code is necessary. That's ideal. To affect the admin interface, see the post types. This needs to be checked. Yes, you want this to be enabled. To use the query AS, um, ascending and descending parameter. If the query includes an ascending or descending order parameter to use that. If the query order is set to descending, the order will be reversed. You should not check this. Archive drag and drop allow the functionality within the allow sortable drag and drop functionality within default WordPress post type archive. Admin sort needs to be active. That's correct. And the next previous apply, apply the sort on the next previous site-wide navigation. This can be also controlled through code. And this is what you need it to do. Now, here's what we're going to show you real quick. So on my homepage, for instance, I have two posts about uh, social warfare inline CSS. And I have this Hello World post. But I want that Hello World post to be the first post. So what I do now is I can grab it and I can move it on up my post list. I can reload it. And there you go. Now it's at the top, even though its date is older. This is one easy way to do it. Um, it works great and it works out of the box with most themes who follow at least the default core means of registering post types and their order. Um, you can reorder, there's a reorder tab that appears to allow you to easily reorder posts. I don't recommend using this particularly if you have a site with a lot of active posts. Now, an alternative to using the post types order is you can just quite simply, since the default order is to follow the date, and I'm going to show you what I mean. After you disable the plugin, all the posts go back to the order that they were. But if I just update my publish date by using Quick Edit, and we're just going to say, um, what's today, the 10th? We're going to click Update. It's now going to move it all the way back up to the top. Oops, I scheduled it. Now it's back up at the top. Now we're over here, we reload the screen, and now it's back up at the top. And in certain themes, you can make a post sticky. Uh, when a post is marked as sticky, and this only works with very certain themes, it will pin it to the top. As you can see here, it's marked with a pin, and it will always be the first post that appears. Reordering posts is not particularly hard. The easiest way to do it is to use the post order plugin the more recommended way is to have the post date updated because that'll keep it in line with how your content was before. You can also use a plugin that would modify it to order post by modification date instead of post date. But for most sites, it's really all you need. It's just a quick tip that I thought would be quite useful for sites that are having trouble structuring their content. If you have any questions, you can please feel free to ask in the comments below and I will try to help you out. Otherwise, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.